guys. Um, I'm going to show you all this Ubuntu uh, setup that I made for a friend of mine, uh, Jamie. Um, I'm going to let you look at it and be in awe because it is pretty good. Um, I have to admit that it's pretty nice. But anyways, let's look at it real quick. See, now I just started up Ubuntu and uh, you can see it's not a Windows machine by any means that's a flame piece which you'll find on YouTube uh, anywhere you want this is a DVD that a friend uh, Jimmy's dad has so it plays DVDs pretty well as you can tell um, with this movie player that they have I think the movie player personally is uh, 10 times better than a uh, uh, Windows media player, but who am I? I'm a little impartial to it. Um, here's Chrome, or Chromium, as Ubuntu has it, or Linux machines call it. It's Chromium. Um, it's really nice, actually. Uh, it's much faster in Ubuntu than it is in... Uh, windows but the main thing I want to really show you was uh, this one thing is the cylinder piece and you know this is pretty nice um, those were pictures that he actually had so I don't know who they are but I just set them up for him like that um, I installed VirtualBox on his machine which is this right here and I have two Windows 7 uh, uh, machines, virtual machines, and they're both 20 gigs piece, so they're eating up some of his hard drive space. But the way I set them up is that both of these machines are pulling off of the same um, the same location as far as documents and stuff like that goes. And I, what I did was set it up on the Ubuntu partition, um, his Windows documents, which is right here under Jamie, under his whole Ubuntu setup. So if you go to Jamie and go to old Microsoft, which is his old documents that he had, um, you'll see that all his stuff is still there. And he's got this. We'll just play this real quick, show you how quick and nice it is and how it doesn't even, um, just doesn't even skip a beat. I mean, Windows Media Player sometimes struggles with stuff like this. Um, that's why I'm a big fan of uh, VLC. So if you're ever looking for a better media player, VLC is probably the best one out there. And I do have that on here. It's just that this is the default one that Ubuntu sets up, and I'm not having a problem with it. So I don't see why anybody would change that personally. But anyways, let's get back to the bigger box thing here. Let's start his stable version of a Windows 7. And the reason why I gave him two Windows 7 is because uh, he was having some serious issues with uh, um, downloading torrents and stuff and, and getting viruses once in a while so I decided to go ahead and give him a Ubuntu setup and then put the virtual box on there for Windows 7 well while I was doing it I was like well ding 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 I got a bright idea why don't I just put another Windows 7 on there with the uTorrent and he could download all the uTorrents I mean all the torrent files that he wants there in that partition or virtual box I should say sorry um, he could he could do that and uh you know, if he installs anything bad, then you know he could do. He could take a snapshot of, of the uh, virtual box. He could take a snapshot of that before he installs, you know, anything, and he could test it out in that environment. And if it's fine, no viruses or anything like that, he could take that um, software that he downloaded or whatever and install it on the other one that's more stable. Um, again, another thing about VirtualBox is that you get to take a snapshot of something. So it's, you know, you take a snapshot of a stable environment and, you, and something ends up happening, then uh, you're okay because you can go right back to that snapshot, which I really like. Um, to me, that's, uh, that's a big plus. I know a lot of Bluetooth fans out there are probably saying, yeah, we've been doing this for years, but, you know, I just wanted to show off what I created for him trying to get my stand set up so I can do some some leg work here 
once the windows boots up. Um, let's go out of here. Let's see what we got. All right, so you can see it's all coming up like Windows 7. It's, it's doing a pretty good job. It's taking its time, just like Windows 7 normally does. It's a, it's a little bit slower. It's um, you, you don't get all the fancy stuff. You don't get all the fancy stuff as you would in a, you know, with a, with a Windows 7. It's a Snap 2 and the arrow, uh, the arrow package because I'm not allocating probably enough video graphics memory and uh, I'm not allocating uh, RAM enough RAM for all that to happen and I'm not even sure if I could get that even if I allocated it all the way up I'm not even sure if I could get it all that to actually operate properly so but anyways as you see it's popping up um, and you can go into Chrome um, it's just like using Windows um, there's nothing different about it now the one thing I do have to say is that you might not want to be, do, be doing too much. You might not want to be trying to install one or two programs at the same time while surfing the net here and then trying to do something on Linux Box. And what I mean by that is uh, I'll show you real quick. We could go ahead and, and make, see, that's Windows. And then we could go to our other desktop, which is Linux. So it's a smooth transition. See that? Can you see all that? I hope you guys can see that because it's pretty nice. Go right back into Windows. Um, if I want to go out of full screen, I have the guest edition of VirtualBox installed, so everything's pretty, you know, stable as far as being able to go through back and forth on the capture of the mouse. So I could go in here, open this up, go like this, come back out. It's just like having uh, a window. So if I close that again. Got Avast running so he can run his scans when he needs to, if he needs to. I mean, it's kind of pointless, but uh, I'm just giving him the look and feel of everything that he needs needs to have. Um, and as you can see, again, I'm in the Linux version with that. So it's pretty cool, I think. I mean, I don't know what y'all guys feel about it, but like I said, it's uh, it's a Toshiba satellite with a Pentium dual core inside. He's got three gigs of RAM, which is a, a plus, but I mean, for a machine like this, to be able to operate this stuff pretty decently, um, you know, it, it, it's a, <laughs> that's the Windows advance telling me that it's got an um, update, and that's awesome. Um, seriously, though, I mean, just to be able to handle all that it's handling for such, the machine's fairly old, if you ask me. Um, it's not the oldest thing in the world but it's still uh it's old and it has a lot to say about what ubuntu could do and i am one huge fan of ubuntu always will be um i would love to be in the linux world forever but unfortunately my job as a designer doesn't let me be there so i have to work with windows um at home and uh at work so that that um that tears me up, but you know, what are you gonna do, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. So um, there's just not much choice I have in that matter. Now, having said that, I am after doing this installation. I am seriously, seriously thinking about um, doing uh, doing my own um, Ubuntu on on my uh, my workhorse. The only problem I have is the uh, last time I tried it which wasn't that long ago. I would say it was probably maybe five months ago, maybe. Probably the same version of Ubuntu that I installed on this one. You know, this one does have some updates, but uh, when, I, when I did it th that time, uh, the thing was that I just couldn't get it to support my multi-monitors, and I have four monitors and a Wacom tablet, so couldn't get it to support that easily. Um, I'm not saying that it didn't support multi-monitors, because I did get it to support two. I just couldn't get it to support the other two. And I'm not sure why, so I need to work on that a little bit more. Uh, I am in the process of putting some money together to build me a new system, which I will do on on a video as well. I'll show you the process of my purchases through Newegg and all that stuff, and um, you know when it arrives, I'll start building the machine and uh, 
I'll put Ubuntu on there for the main operating system, and then I will put uh, maybe one or two Windows systems on there as, on, on it as well, and I will show y'all uh, the whole process of that. Um, because basically, when I put that machine together, it's going to be for video processing, doing more video work, which is something that I'm really getting involved with now. So. Uh, once I do that, let's go ahead and shut this down. I'll show you how to shut it down. Um, those are the snapshots I was talking about. So if you can see that, that would be great. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. But these are different snapshots. This is a current state. This was stable with Avast, stable version 7, uh, and Windows 7. That was the first install I had. The, the, the very first snapshot I took, and then this is the second snapshot I took. So he could always go back if anything goes wrong. But uh, as I was saying, when uh, when that uh, when that machine comes in, which will probably be a couple months from now, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna have like a uh, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, probably a terabyte of hard drive space, uh, a pretty smoking hot video card. Uh, so I will be doing that and showing you all what's going on with it, and hopefully y'all will like it. Let's go ahead and shut this down. Yeah, let's cancel that real quick and shut it down here so you can see how smooth everything works. And see, it just, I mean, everything's just like Windows 7. So, I mean, I mean if you, you had any doubts, I mean, this is showing you on an older laptop that this could be done. And you could live in both worlds with a, 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 a less of uh, of the Windows atmosphere which is I think what most people are probably looking for as far as coming to the Linux world so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video um, we'll see you soon talk to you later bye